Okay, the way I like to think about it, when we have two variables varying inversely, is that the product of those two variables is constant. Another way to think about it, if you solve for y, is, oh, well, we had a k here, but I'll put a 6. As one of the variables goes up in value, the other one goes down in value. So if x is 2, y is 3. But if x is 3, y is 2. They're going in opposite directions. So here's a graph of x, y equals k, where I've set k equal to 6. And I've also redefined f of x as k over x. But this is really just the reciprocal function. y equals 1 over x is the reciprocal, but we've multiplied it by 6, so it causes a vertical stretch by a factor of 6. And here is the value of the function when x is equal to 13. It's actually uh, 6 thirteenths. So all I did is really put 13 in for x, got 6 thirteenths. That's probably the answer you're looking for. And here's a table of x sub 1s and f of x sub 1s. See as x goes down, uh, let's see where am I here. Oh, I wanted to show you that the product of x and y is constant. 6. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.